All right, you guys, so today I'm gonna to be putting in a nice high doing radio into the matrix. So, but first off, I already looked at this radio and I realized that the plug that they sent was not the correct one. And I contacted them and they were unaware of the 2003 and 2004 matrix being slightly different. So I am having to splice the harness in just to make sure everything is going to work. The thing is with these 2003 and 2004 matrixes, they use a, a GM connector, like for the Pontiac Vibe and stuff like that. So that's what I got. Um, and I ordered this separately as well as the radio. We have a nice eye doing radio. And it's gonna be custom fit to fit the bezel. We'll come with all your extra harnesses and then the radio itself. So like I said, this is a nice custom bezel. So it'll be perfect fit. And they end up moving some of the buttons so that way you get a nice, I think this is a nine inch screen. Um, so that's what we'll be putting in today. So let's hop into the car. All right, so as you can see, here's my radio. It's already like an aftermarket Pioneer radio. Um, and my bezel is like in 20 pieces. So um, you will want to pop off your bezel, which there's a couple clips in each corner. Just be careful so you don't break it. Because I guess after 20 years, these get very sensitive. So, And then when you do that, there will be connectors for all the buttons. And your other bezel. So now we're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench to get this out. There's usually four of them holding this in. And this will pull out and then we'll disconnect from the radio. And now we can get rid of this radio, which is not bad, but obviously we want a radio with more features, so. And then here's the, the plug. So, um, like I said, for the 2003 and I believe 2004, you're gonna wanna make sure you get the correct plug that plugs into your, cause this right here is a, I guess it's a GM connector. So Toyota connectors are slightly different, but we're gonna have to take this and splice it into the harness that he supplied, which is, Right here, if you had a Toyota, which I believe, obviously this is a Toyota, but if you had the 2005 and up matrix, you would end up using this because it has all these plugs, but GM puts it into one plug so that way you don't have to have multiple plugs. So we will end up cutting this and then matching all the colors to our new harness right here. Now that I got my wire cutters, um, I'm gonna end up doing this fancy solder shrink wrap on these, but at the beginning just to test everything I'm just gonna twist them together just to make sure Everything works So I'm just gonna cut these right up at the top. I hate cutting something just like this. It's brand new, but It's the only way I'm gonna get this to work All right, so now we got our connectors now we're gonna strip all these and then we're going to splice them into my adapter, wherever I put them. Okay, right up here. All right, so there's not many to connect. We just need to verify that the 0304 need a special plug. And then that's how we will end up having to do this. So there's going to be a few that we're going to ignore for now. Um, which they already have labeled for like your backup camera, amp on, and stuff like that. But mainly, let's start stripping these wires. But I guess this will be a good way to demonstrate how to wire up a radio anyways if you don't have a harness. So now it looks like the only colors that I cannot find to match with this are orange with white wire, or orange with white line and blue with white line. I do not have, well, I guess here's a blue with white line. That's an amp on, but I'm not gonna do that yet because I don't have an amp in this car that I know of. 
And then the orange with white, I do not have that either. There's an orange with black. Not sure if I need those or not, so. I'll do those in a little bit. Pretty much I'm just gonna twist all these wires together just to make sure everything's gonna be good. And then after I figure out that it works, then we will solder all these together and hopefully get a perfect radio. All right, so I got everything just twisted together real quick. Uh, I do need to make sure they don't touch each other. But there were a few cables that I'm not using. There's two from this plug that I'm not sure they might line up with something else. I will have to double check. Let me just put a little tape on these so that way they don't touch each other. All right, so I got everything all roughed in. Um, again, this is not how I'm going to do this. I just literally want to test the radio. Oh, and then something else too. I forgot that comes with this radio is a an adapter for your your antenna because the antenna wherever that is the antenna on these is super tiny and it doesn't have a normal stereo like speaker connector or antenna connector. And make sure you keep your screen protector on so you don't scratch your screen. Alright, so let's turn on the car. Oh, wrong piece. Alright, well it's powering on. Alright, so the radio's on. So it's... And speakers sound like they're working. Alright, well, the radio seems to work. Um, I don't know the stations that well, so, but it is working. Let's go to Bluetooth on the thing. Settings, I guess pair, search. I'm sorry if there's a bad glare. I just want to make sure everything works good before I actually put everything together. Um, let's go Bluetooth on my phone. Oh, looks like it found my phone. Alright, I think it paired. Looks like it's paired on my phone. So, let's try to play some music. Alright, so Bluetooth music is working. Um, let's go try to find car link. Let's see if it will find my phone. But I think all you have to do is just connect to Bluetooth and then wireless Apple CarPlay works, so... It does seem to be working, so... Alright, so now... Now that, I mean, there's really no other features on this car that I'm worried about, other than the radio... And... The screen turning on and off. Because... This car doesn't have any other features... That I know of. So yeah, now... I'll unplug all this, and then... And then we'll actually solder connect all those pieces together. Alright you guys, so I got everything all soldered up and connected. It looks pretty good for a, a soldered up connection um, harness. So, like I said, there were a few wires I did not use um, from the harness and I have no idea what they are. Um, and then there's also a couple extra wires that hang off the eye doing harness um, for like backup camera, amp turn on and stuff like that. So, I'm not going to use those now, maybe in the future if I do add any of that stuff. I will have access to it from the iDoing radio. So now we can plug all this in. And I think there are a few other connectors I might add as well to the back of this radio. Like the USBs and stuff like that. Because it's nice just to have them. So, But these connectors definitely would say are probably a great investment. I think I only paid like 15 bucks for these. And it comes with a lot of them. So...
But now, so, it, this radio comes with Wi-Fi antennas, GPS antennas, an external microphone, uh, something for the external microphone, more antennas, uh, this is your, for like a backup camera and a sub. These are for the external USBs as well as one of them is specifically for CarLink, which I will put this in here. I'll probably write it down there. It comes with these amp, I mean these plugs for like your auxiliary speakers. I believe this is a something for oop, an SD card of some sort. I believe that's what this is for. Not an S, yeah, no, uh, a SIM card. I believe that's what this is for. And then another USB, which I don't think I'll need that. And then an antenna for the Wi-Fi on the back. So let's connect all this stuff. Well. Like I said, I'll mainly just connect this stuff, and then we will be good to go. All right, so let's plug in our harness. That plugs right up. Um, I have the adapter for the antenna already in the radio. And then here's our Wi-Fi antenna, this one right here. Just screw that in. All right, now that's in there. So now, this is gonna be for the USBs. This plug, so pretty much just match it. This has eight pins. So here's an eight pin connector there. So there's that. I will have to feed this down on the radio. I've, I'm hoping this will reach. Let's see. Routed down here. So again, I'm not sure what's supposed to be here, but right now mine's missing. So I'm just gonna leave them kind of hanging up in here for now and then hopefully I can find whatever piece it is and cover that up. But now let's put the couple screws back that we took out. Alright, so now I gotta find that last screw. Then the knob goes right over it. Perfect. Now, something else too on this radio that we're gonna have to modify is this piece right here on the radio since the radio sits up a little bit higher we're gonna have to cut this piece out uh so that way this will actually be able to slide in there it does interfere a little bit so i'm going to figure out where i need to cut and then we will cut that like i said i think we just need to pretty much just cut here and here and so that way the radio will be able to fit into there I got mine cut off. Um, I literally just used like a little saw and I just kind of went at it that way. So, I mean, the cut's not like the cleanest, but it's also not the worst. So, I cut that out. So, now hopefully, we have enough room to put this radio in there. Alright guys, so I got this to fit, um, but it it doesn't seem like it wants to clip in good. Uh, I will have to kind of see and see why it's not clipping in the best, but it is in there. I mean, it is holding, So, but it's only the top clips that really are holding it in. There's nothing on the bottom unless if I'm missing something, so I will have to go into this and see but I did have to modify this a lot more 
than I thought I was going to need to. So I pretty much cut away all of this right up until this one clip right here. Um, and I cut across the, the strip here, cut this, and then I went and I just cut this flush all the way up until like a little bit before that clip. So that's where I'm at here. And hopefully I can figure out why it doesn't want to clip in as good. So, but I'm going to finish connecting everything else and then we'll go over some of the features that this radio has. guys so I got everything into the radio everything fits pretty good this this AC control module was a little bit finicky um, it was a little hard to get in and I ended up actually just uh, it cracked the plastic a little bit trying to push this in and get it like straight in there um, but it seems good everything functions holds it good so I'm not going to worry about that it's just some of this plastic is very finicky so, but something else that I just remembered, um, when I was talking about how the radio wasn't like clipping in good, I remember that it doesn't have any of these plastic clips on the thing. So I took off all the plastic clips on my previous one and then I put them on here. I am missing one down here. I don't know. I think whoever owned this car before me must have lost one already. So, but now we can finally plug everything in and get this radio back in there and looking amazing all right guys so i got everything finally installed everything looks amazing on here so it was a little bit more work to get this radio to fit than i thought it was going to be but i think it's worth that extra little bit of time it like transforms the entire the entire car and makes it look so much nicer so i mean the bezel fits really nice i was at the beginning worried that um it wasn't gonna sit in there good, but after I put those little clips on that went onto each tab, it really was like a tight fit to get in there. So, but you can see, obviously, I got my wireless Apple CarPlay um, running, so no cable, everything looks good. So I got my other cables ran down here. And so let's go over some of these features on this radio. Obviously, there isn't many on this radio because this car, doesn't have many features so you just go home so this is the home screen on this radio you got nav which it comes with stock nav um the it comes with nav built in if you put the gps it'll be a lot better i did not hook it up because i do not plan on using the gps on here and then obviously you got your radio The radio is working good, so I've checked a few stations, everything's working good, especially after getting that adapter. Uh, let's see, you got your Bluetooth, obviously, you can make phone calls. It's got its built-in mic here, but it also has an external mic if you want to run an external mic on this. This is also where you can listen to your Bluetooth music. Uh, and then it's got this video app, I don't exactly know what that is for. but. So in CarLink 2.0, that is going to be wireless CarPlay. You got Google Chrome, your equalizer. You can adjust all your bass and treble and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. So CarBit Link, I think this is, I don't use this often, but this is to uh, mirror your whole screen onto the, the radio if you need to. Um, you got built-in music if you want to listen to a USB, which is like, stuff like this i mean then you have your settings here you can connect to the internet you can change stuff on the display your brightness everything like that and this does work with um your headlights so you turn them on the screen dims turn them off the screen undims so uh let's see you got a bunch of other little miscellaneous things here uh, not much. I mean, you can really do for this car. 
let's see. So this has capabilities for steering wheel controls, but from what I recall, these cars do not come with a steering wheel controls at all, not even as an option. So I don't think you would be able to hook them up, but if you did, you could link them to this. Um, we got YouTube, your Play Store. Um, and that's mainly it. Like I said, this, this radio is very... There's not a lot of features on this radio because there's not a lot of features on this car. So, but, and then it does have the option to add a backup camera if you want to. So you can add a backup camera as well. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.